Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back again with more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And this time, I want to create a guide for what might be the most difficult and irritating series of quests in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Yes, most of you have finished the game, probably know what I'm talking about, Nanio's quest line. The quests leading up to the end aren't bad at all, but that final quest, wow, what a doozy. And I just finished the Ascension Guide, so it seems like I'm kind of a glutton for getting involved in these long guys that take forever to put together. Might as well go ahead and take a crack at this one. Let's go ahead and get right into it. This is going to take a long time. You are able to pick up Nanio as a companion automatically, so no need to worry about that. And she's going to give you a quest to come here to the Nameless Ruins. So go ahead and go inside. There's only one path to come down, and you're going to come to this cave a little ways in. Go ahead and enter the cave. To the right inside the cave, there'll be a bunch of ghouls you need to face. And then there'll be a symbol on a pillar standing here. Make sure you remember that symbol. After you exit the cave and go a little bit further down the path, you're going to come to some tiles that you're able to interact with. Go ahead and recreate the symbol that you saw in the cave. It'll open up this particular passageway and let you access the chest. When you get all the way to the end of the path, you'll come to this circle with four statues surrounding it. Click on the statue here and a conversation will ensue with a being from beyond the portal, making it clear that there's a riddle that must be solved in order to be able to meet it. Basically, Nanio needs to find four masks and then match them up with the four statues here. So let's go ahead and find them. As part of the main quest, you're going to have to come to the Ivory Sanctum. In this section of the dungeon, you're going to see a puzzle. If you click the stones in the right order, a chest will appear. Inside the chest, you will find the circle mask. Towards the southern center of the map, you'll find the heart of mystery. Inside the heart of mystery, at the bottom of a staircase, will be a pile of bones. And inside them will be the darkness mask. Next up is Palora's Fall. Everyone will have to come here as part of the main quest in Act 5. Angels can come here in Act 3. It does not matter whether you do this puzzle in Act 3 or Act 5, but Nanio's quest overall cannot be completed until Act 5. You're going to come to this room, and then you're going to notice that you can actually click on the stars that are on the floor here. There are two books in the library behind this wall that are guarded behind perception checks, and one book outside. If you read all three of those books together, you can get the puzzle solution from there. Otherwise, the puzzle solution is the newlyweds. The daughter. The writer. The patriarch. The pack. And the follower. Once you click on that, this hidden door is hidden wall rather is going to come down. You can enter it, come down the stairs. And then in one of these containers. A trivial task. And behind this locked container, you will find the summit mask. Always ready. As part of the main quest in Act 5, everyone is going to come to the Unluctable Prison come over to this area and there'll be a puzzle for you to solve. Once you put in the right key, a chest will become available and the question mask will be inside the chest. Now that you have all four masks, come back to the nameless ruins and the four statues. Click on the only one. I am the end of the road. I am superiority. That matches with the summit mask. 
I am the unknown. I scare cowards, but reveal my secrets to the brave. That would be the darkness mask. I am the impetus to act. I am a reason for torture and a cause for insomnia. That would be the question mask. And then finally, I am the void and the emptiness. I am the starting point. I am infinite. That would be the circle mask. Once you have put all the masks correctly into the statues, behold the truth, open yourself to knowledge, reveal yourself, a portal is going to open up. Now, before you step into this portal, let's cover a couple of things. This is going to be a huge pyramid with puzzles all over the place. It is definitely in your best interest to have as many uh, castings available of haste as you possibly can have, because basically you're gonna have to zigzag across all sorts of different areas, solving puzzles and taking a lot of time. So whether it be spell slots, scrolls, whatever, you wanna be able to run around there as quickly as possible. Also, there is a boss fight at the end of this puzzle sequence against a demon lord that can make copies of itself. There are many people who would say it is the hardest boss fight in the game. Harder than anything you experience in the end game of Pathfinder. You should have yourself prepared accordingly, meaning all of the very best buffs you can possibly have. I'd actually recommend that you wait until level 20 before you do this. If you have access to overwhelming presence from en the enchantment tree, that is very helpful in this fight. It's going to stagger all of those different copies that it makes. Um, basically anything <laughs> that gives you a leg up, make sure you're going to have it available when you complete this puzzle. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're on the other side of the portal now. If Nania wasn't in your party when you decide to solve the statues, she will automatically ask to join your party once you get on the other side of the portal. It is her quest, so it makes sense to basically have her with you. Moving forward. I'm gone. There's gonna be a guard over here on the left. Take him out. He's not gonna actually activate as an enemy until you get really close. I welcome your company. Once he's down, loot him, and there will be a blue binding source on his body. Take that, then climb back up here, go to the magic spring, place the crystal into the spring, and then click this button. So this is consistently how these puzzles work. There'll be a spring with a line, and if you can put the appropriate crystal in there, it'll power up the button or whatever it is that you need. Once you have done this, this door will open. Go ahead and enter the pyramid. Once you're in the pyramid, go ahead and walk forward. To the right. To the right and to the right. To the right some more. Until finally you get to this area and there'll be a switch you can hit on this particular statue. Go ahead and hit that. All right, a conversation will ensue. They'll basically pose a riddle to you. Nanio will say that the correct answer is nothing. Now, there is an achievement based upon the kind of conversation you have with the boss of this entire level. I have heard that the achievement is based around refusing to answer any of the questions. So that's what I'm going to do. But the actual correct answer that Nanio provides is I am nothing. I'll put a note here on the screen if what I did actually works and I'm able to uh, get the achievement by refusing to answer. So once that's done, you want to head up these stairs. Now, in the middle of this room here is this turnabout. That turnabout sprays a mist that will automatically fatigue your entire party. I don't think there's a way to block it. So you absolutely want to make sure you avoid that, even if you're in the midst of a fight. Once you're done with the fight here, head down the stairs. We do it my way. And then there'll be a puzzle here. It's time to act. 
Since we're about to do the first puzzle, I figured I'd better plug in the spreadsheet real quick and make it clear how it works. So it's going to start with the general mass locations and how to solve all the uh, puzzles there. And then it's going to move into the actual pyramid walkthrough. I'll put some photos when I'm giving you directions so you'll have an idea of where you should be at any given point. And then when we come to an actual puzzle, I'll put a table into this sheet so that you can see based upon where the slides are located, what order you should be pressing them. So if the puzzle is four by four, this will be four by four. If it's five by five, you get the drift. Hopefully this will make it extremely simple for you all to be able to follow through with the guide. Okay, let's go back to the puzzle. Okay, so let's solve the puzzle. If you're using my sheet, I mentioned that you wanna make sure the door with the orb on it is to your left. Make we sure you move. do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and where's uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go. Nice and simple. Now that you finished with the puzzle, go ahead and walk through the open door. And we want to go all the way to the end. And once you get to the end, you're going to see this pedestal. Go ahead and loot it and take the blue crystal from it. Then go ahead and walk all the way back to the puzzle. Once you're back at the puzzle, move on to the other side of it. And you'll see this doorway to the pyramid's depths. Click on that. All right, once you're on this other side of the door, go ahead and head straight forward. And all the way at the end, there'll be another pedestal. Take the blue crystal. Then head over to your right. And at the top of the stairs, there'll be another pedestal with another crystal. Then turn around, head forward, up the stairs. You'll make up. And then you want to come up on the right to this sand hill. And then there'll be another pedestal with another crystal for you to loot. Let's have Once you're done with the fight, head back down the sand hill. And then you're going to see some little stairs here leading to the main halls, into the main halls. Once you're on the other side of the door, head straight across. There's gonna be a spring. Go ahead and put one of the crystals into the spring. It's gonna power up this button. Go ahead and hit the button. It's gonna open up this door. Once that has been completed, open up the spring again, take the crystal back out of the spring. Now we're gonna head into this hallway. And be careful of the turnabout. Make sure the spray doesn't hit you. So you want to continue past that turnabout. A trivial task. And then you're gonna come across a second one after this battle. Then you want to curve around, and you'll come to this corner here with two springs on either side. Go ahead and put a crystal into either spring. It's going to power up a bunch of enemies here on the other side. Once you've dealt with the enemies, continue on the path down the stairs, and there'll be another pedestal that you can loot. We do it my way. Go ahead and loot the springs, take your crystals back. Now you want to go back to where you put in the spring and we're able to open up the door. And go ahead and go through the door that you previously opened. Even the best. Continue going forward. 
until you reach this platform. When you get to this platform, go ahead and activate all of the springs. Now the platform is activated, but you need to hit it three times before the power will actually point towards the door that you need to have unlocked. One, two, three. Okay, now that that door is unlocked, let's go ahead and head through it. And we're going to keep heading up. And we're going to head all the way up to a huge platform with more springs and switches than any other room you're going to come to. You're going to head towards the right because we're not ready to unlock this yet. So when you press the athletics button to jump down, it's going to enter you into a series of dialogue with the being across the portal. At the first uh, opportunity for you to be able to select dialogue, you should select nothing will change. I am selecting move forward without a word to see if that unlocks the achievement. At the next um, query, your answer should be no one. And then for the very last query, you should state I don't know. Once you have finished with it, a path will open up that allows you to continue forward and then you'll come to the door to the forbidden chamber. Once you come to the other side, you can walk out and you'll see this middle platform with a lower religion check. That was easy. And there'll be a door in front of you. You are gonna to need to head to the left and to the right to activate switches and get this door we unlocked. Move. So we'll start by going to the left. Let's and then up. I'm gone. And then once you defeat the enemies here, go ahead and hit the switch. All right, now we're going to go do the same thing on the other side. This room. Follow if you dare. And go ahead and hit the switch here. And then go ahead and head through the door that you just opened. And head around the platform. I do what I must. Ah, a test. And then after you defeat the boss, there'll be a pedestal here. Go ahead and grab the green binding source. Now head to the left. I'm gone. And go into the back room you skipped over before. Once you've dealt with the enemies, go ahead and loot the pedestal here and take the blue crystal. We do it my way. After you've taken the blue crystal, go back through the door that you came through before. Now we want to go from this side all the way down to the other side. I'm always ready. And there will be a door to the ruined passages. Go ahead and go through it. Once you're on the other side of the door, go straight and take a left. Take another left inside this room. And then loop the pedestal for its blue crystal. Then turn around and go straight. I'm off. Keep going straight. Make a right past this room. Head down. If you have anyone who uses daggers, there is a check. Yeah, there's a check over here for scorpion string, scorpion sting that you could try to pass. That'll give you a really nice dagger. Otherwise, after you get through with the enemies, you might want to have your team with the tanks facing back up the stairs and have whoever's in your back line go ahead and loot this scorpion claw and get the green binding source. Once you're done with this fight, go ahead and head back the way you came and go back through the door you came in. Once you're back on the other side of the door, go back to the large platform 
then make a right and go back to the platform with the four springs that you activated to open the door to this area. Now you want to hit this panel twice so that the power is pointing south. I'm off. Put a crystal in the spring that the power connects to. What's that there? And then put another spring in the one, put another crystal in the spring right past the puzzle, which will then activate it. Okay, now we can go ahead and solve this puzzle. Again, you can use my sheet to make it easy for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All the tiles will flip over, letting you know that you've done this correctly, and then you'll get another power line. So let's go down over to the power line. I do what I All right, and once that's done, hit the spring. Go ahead and put a blue crystal in the spring and hit the switch. Once you've hit the switch, go ahead and take the crystal out of the spring. You can go ahead and loot that chest if you like. I'm gone. And you also want to go ahead and take the crystal out of this spring. And crystal out of this spring as well. Then we'll head back up to that platform. And let's hit it twice. Make the power point north. And same deal again. You want to hit the spring. Go up a little bit further. Next spring will be on the right. A bunch of enemies will pop up. All right. And once the enemies are down, it's time to go ahead and solve the puzzle. Once that fight has been completed, we can go ahead and solve the puzzle. So let's see, this should be red. This should be red. Red, red, green, green. This should be green as well. This should be green. This should be red. This should be green. Red, red, red. This should be green. This should be red. Green. And green. This is something red, green, green, red, red, green, green, red, green, red, green, red, red, red. Is that the problem? My skills are absolute. It's time to you, act. A bright future awaits us. Red, 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 green. There we go. Once the puzzle's finished, go ahead and hit the button. It's gonna open up this door. We do it my way. You ready for a fight? Once you finish with the fight, go ahead and hit the um, pedestal and grab the blue crystal. And then right behind you will be a large wall that you should be able to interact with. You can go down those stairs. There'll be another puzzle. All right, so now we can go ahead and do the puzzle. One, two, oops. We should move. This person. There I'll take care of it. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 14, 15, 16. And that brings down chest. If you like. Alright, now.
Now we'll go back up here. Back through here. We'll go ahead and take our crystal back. And we'll take our crystal from here as well. Okay, so now we need to head back onto the other side to another four crystal platform. I'm off. And through the door. And then there'll be a four, another four crystal platform. Go ahead and fill it all up. All right, once you've got them all in, first thing you want to do is go ahead and point the power to the south. And that will eliminate a bunch of enemies. Once they're down, you can move forward. I do what and there'll I must. be a pedestal with a blue crystal that you can take. Go ahead and head back up. Hit the platform again. And now it will open up this door over here. So let's go through it. You have to talk with one of them and start up a dialogue. Say nothing. Once the door opens, go through it and head all the way to the other side. On the other side, there'll be a statue where that you can, on the other side will be a large statue that you can interact with. Your response for this first riddle is I reject my past, my present and my future. You're not gonna see the other responses here because I'm still going with basically refusing to participate in these riddles to see if I can get the achievement to pop. But the other responses that you need to have for the second one, it's I shall forget my name and the names of everyone I know. Then it's oh great Aresh Kagal. Then it's I shall become a part of your riddle. Then it's pour your meaning into my meaningless existence. And then finally it's I am nothing now and forever. And then you have to convince Aresh Kagal that you actually believe everything that you said, which requires you to pass either a will or religion save, which I think is usually uh, somewhere around 30. Afterwards, regardless of what you said, the doors will open. Go ahead and go through the portal. So once you step through the portal, what you want to do is I'm follow going. the lines of power without actually activating them. Is... You're going to keep following it around this no corner. You're going to keep way. following it around. And soon you'll get to a point where the power is going towards a puzzle. Go up towards the puzzle, but then go into this section here. Let's and if you go towards this best. wall, somebody's perception check will hopefully pick it up. The wall will dissipate. And then you'll come to a pedestal where you can take one of the blue crystals. Once you've looted the crystal, come back south still following the power lines. Round the corner, following them still, until you get to a door that you can't open. On either side of the door will be a pedestal with a crystal for you to loot. One green, one blue. I found, uh, something. Follow Once you've you looted them, go back to the puzzle. Instead of doing this puzzle first, head over to the right. I see something over there. And you'll have the opportunity to do this puzzle once you hit the uh, switch for the trap. All right, and then to solve the puzzle. One. We will win this war. Two. Three. Four. Now five. Two, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
Awesome. And that's gonna open up a door right next to the puzzle, and it actually has the spring you could use to power the puzzle. But we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna go back to where we came from. So back over to the platform with four springs. This time we're gonna hit it twice. And now it's gonna allow us to go through the doorway on the other side. I'm gone. Then we head to the right. And if you go to the pedestal in this room up on the right, there'll be a blue crystal that you can pick up. Now head back across. And you want to go ahead and power up this spring. And then follow the power line. Let's Once you finish the fight, go ahead and hit the spring. And follow the power line again. And then hit one more to power up the puzzle. Okay. I'll put a screenshot of this solution since it doesn't matter what order you actually hit the buttons in. But this needs to be to the left. This needs to be over to the side as well. This needs to be to the side. And this as well. And this facing the other direction. This is fine. That's where it's supposed to be. And there we go. I'll flip over and then you're going to have to deal with the enemy. And then once you've dealt with them, go ahead and hit the button. And go through the door. And there'll be a pedestal there with another blue crystal. I'm gone. Once the puzzle's complete, go ahead and take your crystal back from that spring right next to it. And then also take your crystal from the next spring. Now you can go ahead. Huh? What's that? And disable this trap. A trivial task. There's a wall you need to get to, but it's not showing up yet, so go back over here. Take the crystal out of this spring as well. Then head into this room. Okay, and after finishing that fight, go back. We do it my way. And now this room should be open. And there should be a pedestal with a blue crystal for you. And then if you head to the other side, there'll be another puzzle for you to complete. All right, so now we're ready to solve the puzzle. One, two, three, four, five, six, Let's save seven, some adventures for later. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16. And it's gonna open up a door. So we can go ahead and head there. Follow. And then once you enter, if you head to your left, There will be a pedestal for you to loot. Take the red crystal from there. Now that you loot the platform, we head back out into the hallway. Back past the spring that you should have already taken your crystal out of. And the other spring. Back to this middle platform. 
Now we're going to hit it twice and get it pointed back towards the I other direction. I must. Because now it's time to go ahead and solve that puzzle that we left last time. So go ahead and hit that there. And hit this. And hit this. I'm gone. And hit this one. That's going to bring it up to this puzzle. And then don't forget you need to come back to the room and hit it here. All right. And now this puzzle is lit up and available for us to work with. Okay, now green, red, 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 green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, 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 red. Red, green, red, green, 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 red, green, red, 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 green, 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 red, and then red, 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 green. Green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red. There we go. Okay. That's going to power this up. But actually, we need to take, unfortunately, a little road trip before we can... I am Get started on that. Turnstile. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. We gotta loop this. Yep, put ace on them, right? Yep. Oh, I forgot to heal them, though. So you gotta come all the way over here. And then loop this pedestal. I don't remember whether or not we could have already done this, but I'm always taking care of it now. All right, now that that's done, we make our way back to the puzzle. All right, now that you're back at the puzzle with all of the crystals, you just follow the power lines and make sure you're dropping crystals into the springs that need them. Follow if you dare. And then click the button at the end. I see something and over there. And once you go into this room, there'll be a chest at the end with plus eight bracers for you. All right, once you've done that, come back down the power lines, collect all of your crystals. Get to grab the one that's here that powered the actual puzzle. And we're going to do this all the way back to the platform with the four springs on it. I do what I must. We hit it once. Yep. So we want this four spring platform to finally connect spells, with a large, massive platform in the middle. And then we're going to go all the way over to the other side and make sure the other four spring platform 
does the exact same thing. Okay. I'm gone. Once you have power pointed towards the platform, put red crystals in the outer springs, put blue crystals in the inner springs. We do it my way. Once you're finished with that, Follow all of the symbols should be lit up. You only need to worry about symbols that look specifically like this. I'm Those symbols ready. you want to go ahead and step on them to turn them off. Once you have done that, the only step left is to hit the platform here. So go ahead and rest, buff your party, do whatever it is you need to do. All right, once you've been completely buffed up, you can go ahead and hit the platform. The correct response for you is to bow your head. The correct response is to grit your teeth and brace yourself for another strike. Try to ignore your injuries, and then I am nothing. Nothing can suffer or feel pain. So on core, it's a level 45, magical beast, huge, 34 on strength. It's immune to electricity and being not prone, as you can see. And this is not the real actual boss fight, to be honest with you. Right. And then once that's finished, I do what I must. You can head through the portal that the aspect came out of. I figured out the achievement. Looks like you can only get it if you're a legend when you come to this place. There's a specific dialogue that you get that calls the achievement to pop. I did not get the achievement from just rejecting the riddles. Um, but then again, if you're choosing all the correct responses, maybe that also gets the um, achievement to pop as well. But I know for sure if you're a legend, you can do it. All right, let's head into the boss battle. And as you can see, Areskago is a 42 level magic beast, a 10th level mythic and a 20th level wizard, 40 intelligence, 40 constitution, permanent see invisibility, true seeing and bull strength, immune to a bunch of different things, she also has, where is it? Where is it, where is it, where is it? She has some sort of gaze she can use on you. Here we go. Gaze of Enigma makes one lose themselves. The affected creature must pass a will saving throw and suffer 15 D6 damage of a random type, one of which is holy. I don't understand why a demon lord can use holy damage, but it is what it is. And you gain a negative level. All right, let's get it started. The light take you. Okay. And then Arrest of Gold is automatically going to disappear and then bring in a whole bunch of friends. Excellent. The spirits demand your blood. Oof. That's unfortunate. Is Nanio in that freaking rift? Oh, well. Nothing I can do about it right now. And 
I guess Sila might as well. There we go. Yeah, she can deal with those over there. Why are they gonna drop down another rift? Oh no, okay, cool. You're coming to the mid lane. Oh nope, they do drop another rift. Very unfortunate. Sila. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Oh yeah, there's another one of those jerks over there. Okay. Um, where's that spider? See that spider. Oh, there it goes. Yeesh. Retriever champion. Let's see if I can. There we go. Windwalk. Just a straight up beast. No doubt about it. Straight up beast. Oh. Jeez. How bad. Oh, okay, and Nancy took it like a champ. Had an area effect. Oh, wow. Well. Ooh, he did a hundred damage straight up right from the beginning. What in the hell? And then see the goes ham once again. And then window up. All right. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, now Restogal comes back out. All right. You know what? We'll go with fire first. There we go. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And another one. All sorts of versions of it everywhere. Huh. I think they did more damage to me than I did to them. Yeah, cannon fodder. Keep everybody topped off. Ooh, bing. That didn't heal him all the way. All right, and that is that. I will let you talk with Nanio after this boss fight to hear what she has to say and hear how our story is affected by this quest. I hope you all found this guide to be informative and helpful. I'm gonna leave a couple of links down in the description. Of course, the spreadsheet will be there, but I'll also leave some links to some of the other guides that I used when I was going through this, I did not figure out any of these puzzles. <laughs> I have no idea what in the hell is going on in this pyramid. But when I looked at those guys, honestly, sometimes I felt like it was a little confusing figuring out what they were doing and none of them had a written out guide. So I felt like even though there were already guides out here for this particular quest, there was an opportunity to provide some more clarity for people who were struggling to get through this dungeon. So hopefully I've done that and you found this video and the guide informative. If you did, please go ahead, leave me a like down below, share this content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.